to invite Tully's team. Maybe Team Club is having a meeting. Why do they only have three members? Good point. Or maybe somebody's restarting. Who's um who's in Team Tully? In T Team. Uh one moment. Here, we'll get the, that up because I think we need maybe an assist to get these these teams going here. I don't have the spreadsheet handy. Uh, Tol yeah, Tully, Ed. Can you, can you type that in? All right, I'll get it in chat. Oh, thank you. Oldie, Drake Black, Ice Clown, and Sheshix. But I don't know if who's playing, unfortunately. I would assume old he is. Still has a match to finish. I guess their TDMs are pretty important. Like, I don't see these guys in a match. Oldies in menu. Who else? Oh, they're saying a different matchup needs to happen first does it matter who plays who first <clears throat> in this uh, well we had a schedule for a reason so that we could broadcast everything no I was unaware of another game going on right now okay. <laughs> it's so frustrating to have the schedule channel and it not be used I mean, maybe it is used, but there's just other games that were happening that we were unaware of. Because, like, apparently Wildman versus Tully, do you see that in the schedule channel? Like, is that a match later that we're not going to see now? Or... Because I guess that's the one that's happening. Um, I mean, I have the original snippet that has the seven games, and I don't see that on here. Just click events. Yeah, it's not on here. So technically, yeah. I don't know so what that means. Match. So they scheduled two games at the same time with this. It, that doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. No, that's, um, yep. All right. Well. Um, do you want to talk about the matchup in general? Um, well, I don't know what the matchup would be, I guess. Who are the other people playing? We have uh, Tully, I think Drake's playing... He said all yeah. of his members were playing in the other game. I wonder who all of those are. Well, I'm not sure what's going on. We had a game scheduled, but that team is saying that they have a another game happening right now. But that wasn't in the schedule. Yeah, what is... Uh, 
probably is a silly, silly man that he is. So, um, I think regardless of who plays for Team Tully, it's going to be an uphill battle. For whose team? For Team Tully. Ah, to yeah. Team, to Tully. Yeah. And what do you think is going to be tough for them? You think Klub just played really well last, last game? No, I mean, my predictions for the last set... You know, we're just way off. Like, I definitely didn't expect a swing on one way and then the other way like that. Um, so, I don't know. I think, to, to me, like, the difference mostly is about the frag differential, the, you know, potential frag differential power of either team. Um, I think Team Tatali is a little disadvantaged in that area. But the flip side, though, you know, I'm not saying it's like the odds are just insurmountable or anything because um, Ed's forehead has been just playing ridiculous lately on Slash. So that's a wild card that it's just really hard to account for. I mean, he could, because Slash is so, so powerful in sacrifice where, you know, if you're able to just do a sneaky pull and get out and you can route around the map by yourself, you know, you can net like 10%, 20%. It just depends on who's around to take the soul back. So. It's going to be interesting. Play a dual hickory. Let's go. Just kidding. You don't want to? No. Our viewers don't want to see that. All eight people. It's probably everyone who's in the league. What up, fellas? Yeah, it's mostly league people, I bet. You get some pretty good numbers on your VODs, though, right? Well, it's been doing pretty well. We got paid yeah. by Twitch yesterday, actually. Nice. The league got paid, too. This is true. I'll, I'll have to update that. It's pretty cool, though, um, you know, what you're doing. Like, I'll just say it publicly on your stream that it's... Uh, I appreciate it personally. You know, the time that you take to cast this and set up YouTube and 4K and... You know, because it does take time, all that stuff. Yeah, it's a Good lot of fun, though. I, pre I I like doing it. It's a nice little hobby right, to have, like, you know? Well, thanks for being here, Rothschilds. I don't actually recognize that name. He's an yeah, IRL friend. Oh, okay. Nice. Does he play Quake? He just he does. enjoys the Hickory he production. Does. No, I've tried to get my I've tried to get them to come play with us. I think they're scared because of how good we are. Speak for yourself, man. <laughs> okay. Lots of work. Well, we appreciate you uh watching from Chick-fil-A. Not sure if you're working or eating there, but Hickory, you want to do some sacrifice investigations? What do you mean investigations? What would we be investigating? Time to pull the soul. Um, how high you can jump off the top of the uh, obelisk before it, it cancels your pull. Um, I different... see. 
You, you know, I, I thought it would be really because other other games, other esports, they have like uh, people will do like myth busting episodes for the game. You know what I mean? Like they'll see yep. whether you can actually do stuff. I think that would be nice if someone did it for Quake Champions. Because the other day, yeah, I agree. By the way, the other day I jumped into um, a bot match just by myself because I, I wanted to see it after we were watching that clip of. Uh, of Ed on Slash getting that pull on Koth. You know, it looks like he rocket jumps in a way where he would exit the, the capture volume, as it's called, on the top. Because it's a cylinder, right? Like it's a, you know, like a column. It's just a circle that goes up and down. So, anyway, stuff like that. I think it'd be really cool if there were like screenshots of that so we could just visually see here's the capture volume per map but maybe someday <clears throat> okay i'm sorry i was trying to do the new math so i think we're at 800 dollars now for the prize pool myths there aren't really myths about sacrifice it's just things that people don't really know sorry what i was talking in your chat what did you say hickory uh we have 800 dollars now for the prize pool Holy shit. What's the breakdown? So it's t top three teams are paid out, right? And that's it? Or is it? Yes, one moment. That's actually, you know, four people on a team. That's approaching, like, not bad. Especially if you're not a U.S. Could potentially be decent. Uh, I'm proud that's... of this community, by the way. That's, that's amazing. It may be on the bracket page. Hold on. Not that bright page. Oh, you know what? It's in the donations, I bet. Okay, here we go. It's in the donations. So first place gets 50%, second place gets 30%, and third place gets 20%. So 400 something. I mean, that's 100 bucks per person right there, plus change. As long as it's a place. four person team. Oh, that's true. Yeah. I guess, yeah, you do. I'm curious how the team, you know, like if you played zero games and you just happened to be on a team that placed, you know, what, you get money? Um, Everyone, the rules say I everyone has to play. It. So I, I would imagine that if someone didn't, well, I mean, you could probably maybe get disqualified if we found out you had someone that didn't play. I'm pretty yeah. sure everyone had to play. Is that what you're getting at? I'm um, just no. I'm I'm getting at like if you are a team who gets a payout and you are a player who didn't play any matches, do you get a payout? Like, do you? I, I'd imagine not. Me no. personally, I wouldn't even want one. I wouldn't. I'd be like, okay, good job, guys. Take the money. Congrats. Well, that's you. You have morals, Asim. Yeah, I guess. Oh, real quick though, I would like to say the Church of Quake. Uh, we'll break down the donations real quick since we got time. We have two hundred dollars from the Church of Quake. I think I've donated. Uh... That's great. 170 so from Sink and Family, right? Church of Quake. Um, no. Or is it is it a lot of people? Is it more? I haven't kept up because you're associated with Church of Quake now too, right? I sure am. I'm I'm one of the lead yeah. admins. It's, right, well, we'll it's, just exactly it's, it's just from the church. It's just from the church. That's all we're gonna the say. Church. <laughs> uh, I have you know, now with this new payment, I've donated 170. I'm pretty sure. Uh, from my from Twitch, right? From from subs, bits, uh, ads. So people that are just on this channel helping for like uh, four months, right? You've been building that, or while? I mean, it seems like I started three. in. I think we officially said it all. This was going in February, so technically, like maybe just two two months. Oh, great! Yeah, and we also Our have. Thank you. We have Brian, community member here for our Discord, who donated 100. Raph of the Pro donated 100. Uh, oh. Monoxide Child donated 100. No idea who that is. Mars. Oh, he's a... A... Hold up, hold up. So let's hold on, let's hold on. Who's, Mo... who's, who's Monoxide? So Monoxide Child is a very, he's an old school player, much like myself, who's been playing for a very long time. Uh, he's been trying to add up, but he's been having PC problems. His, his PC won't play. Quick champions right now, so he's. An uh, I'm guessing. 
he was a regular in the NA Arena FPS Discord before my time? Uh, he was in... He stopped by a little bit, yeah, in there, but he mostly played in a different Discord with a different group of guys. So. But yeah, he's a good guy. And I'm impressed, well, by the way, at that uh, that amount from both him and... Yeah, 100 bucks for a tournament is great. Keep going, though. Uh, I, I mean, you are right. We should kind of give everyone their time. I, I personally don't know Monoxide. I didn't know he was a, a, a community regular, so, you know. He shout is, out to him. Yeah. Mars, another community regular with $50. Shout out to him. Hell yeah, Mars. Yeah. AK Ponage, $30. Uh, another huge community member. He's also a fellow mod on the subreddit. He does a lot for the oh, community, yeah. to be honest. Yep, Mars and AK are nightly, nightly players. Uh, Bambi the Deer, uh, $25. That's really nice of Bambi. I know uh, going through some rough times since the mother died. Bambi, doesn't the mother oh, die actually, in in the movie? Like in, like in the in the meadow in the movie. Okay, I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bambi's our he's our Icelandic bro. He's uh he stays up to like five a.m. to play with us constantly. So hell yeah, Bambi. He tells us so many wonderful stories about Iceland too. I didn't know it was such a scary place. With uh, uh you know the, the there's no Santa. In fact, there's this other guy that comes and beats you up and puts you into a sack. I was not there that night, so we're going to have to catch up with that later. Oh, man, but yeah. All I know you're going to have to ask him. Iceland is green. Greenland is ice. Like, I, NA yeah. people don't know shit about geography. I'm one of them, and that's what I know. And also because of, hmm. like, Life of Schmitty, there was some movie where it made me want to go there. I watched a movie. It's beautiful. It, yeah, it does look beautiful. I didn't know there was such a... Uh, you guys don't know geography? I could, I could probably get a few lesson um, plans going for some, you know, world geography for y'all. I need it. Now, the only thing is, I'm very okay. strict on it's homework. Like, most people in the United States can't even fill out the map of all the states. It's a meme, but I won't. Yeah. it's. I think it's tough for everybody. There's a lot to know. You, you think you like could do that? You seem like a cool teacher, though. No, well, I, don't, I wouldn't. Like, once I get into... There's a few areas that I'm not good at. There's a representative, I forget who his name is, but he can draw the contiguous United States, or the contiguous United States. Like, he'll, he'll draw it on a napkin or something. I think that's, that's pretty cool that, that uh, he can memorize all that. I guess he should. I mean, he's a representative, right? That's impressive. Yeah. Did we get through the... the no, 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 no. Hold on. So, Witsy Poltsy, okay. who's who's also a... Uh, he's a oh, captain. Yeah, he's a yeah, he's a captain, not just a player. He donated $25. Excellent. Uh, I'm not and... sure where he's from exactly, but he's EU. He is EU. I don't know where he is. Uh, that is right, though. And then Sinelli. Isn't Sinelli on Kloop's team, or is that someone else I'm thinking of? Yep. Nope, okay. yep. I wouldn't have been able to say that before this last few matches, but he definitely is. So uh, Sinelli player. with $12.77. Now, we, we should know, if you donate the PayPal with a credit card, they will really screw you with the fees just a heads up there so what's the better option well i mean i don't think a lot of people like doing it but you can set your bank account up to it and that those are usually free transactions okay but i i'm getting well, the feeling that people don't like doing that yeah so just a heads up if you do decide to donate or if you and it's anything right it's not just me but if you decide to donate on paypal with a credit card uh fees will be taken Uh, maybe perhaps we can find a better way of that was like doing 15 donations. or something probably mm, like yeah it's pretty hefty it dialed yeah. back to 12.77 or whatever it ended up being we'll it's, it's like three percent or something like that because yeah, i think he originally cool. donated like maybe 15 dollars yep okay well let's keep going is this a big list no that's it 10. actually that's a oh that's it okay uh, I was going to say, though, I mean, perhaps next time we could find a better way to do these uh, donations and payment. Excuse me. Yeah, there's a few things I think we can improve for the next one. Not like glaring, you know, mistakes. I think everything has gone pretty smooth. So, you know, shout out to uh, Cash Check and everybody who's behind the scenes, making decisions, getting these, these things going. Because tournaments don't just happen on their own. They don't organically grow off a tree. There's no tournament tree. All 
I'm going to, I'm going to donate, by the way, if you were about to say acid, where's your name? Acid. How can you be, how can you sleep at night casting these? No, I mean, that's very kind of you, but I don't, I'm, I don't demand or ask for donations. It's very kind for anyone that donates though. I'm waiting for finals day. I want to make a splash. <laughs> Get your oh, you know what? So I I should also say this because no one's done it yet. Uh, is Tully present hold on, operation? Hold on. Okay, if you're on my Twitch page and you, you go down to the donations tab, there's this tip button you can click, and that will allow you to uh, donate money and have a message on stream. You know what I mean? Like it'll show up on mm. on stream. But no one's you done can do that, that yet. Right through, you can do that right through chat, though, right? with just like uh, slash cheer is it the same thing no, i guess it's a different way of going up i i don't yeah, know if i have that enabled for bits yet but oh, but bits. a bit message just show mean. up i mean it just say if someone uh, gives bits yeah, yeah i see what you there's mean, no yeah. message attached to the bits that's what i'm getting at yeah but yeah if you do the little tip button you can donate with a little message uh again not necessary you can just donate directly to the paypal but it does make it a little easier for me to know whether someone, you know, donated, right? Is there a different cut if you do it that way, or is it the same? I I don't know. I imagine Stream Elements probably takes uh, a fee somewhere uh, at some point. Yeah, you it's know? probably similar, yeah. I mean, nothing's free, you know what I mean? Someone's got to be making their money somehow. I'm currently one follower away from 200. Uh, that would be nice. Wow, you'll get there by this weekend. You'll definitely get there. Probably sure today. Hope so. And I, another... I mean, so oh, I'm sorry. Go on. Yeah, we have another event happening. Uh, there's a challengers right now, and there's a. I think there's an EU tournament, right? That, or is he just casting? Like, what's Rob casting right now? Is it challengers? Because I thought Rob was casting sure. the challengers. Uh, so there's challengers okay. right now. There's us going on. I don't know if there's another one going on right now. Okay, because yeah, the, where I'm going with this is I'm, you know, we're definitely going long today, like probably longer than everything else. So at this rate, yeah, it'd be nice if uh, you got some raids and and all that, some quick love. Well, some some raids were bolter. requested. Gonna, we'll see how if they go through. Last through 200 followers <laughs> today. That would be nice. I believe. So I I think one thing I'm gonna do, and I know this is. Uh, Maybe a little odd, but once once this league's over, money that I get's gonna help me go to QuakeCon. That's not odd. That's, That's not a odd. Noble cause. Okay, no. great. Because that's definitely what I'm gonna do. I mean, what I've seen, you know, to take that a step further is just put it up on your stream. You know, like road to QuakeCon, whatever monetary value. Like it's people will support you yeah. i would i'll give you five bucks gas money <laughs> you said you're driving right uh That's yeah in fact you know i i, I bought street. my i bought my uh my uh room yesterday actually oh yeah yeah i'm gonna try and stay i think five nights nice get there the day before leave the day after i need to make plans is the availability still decent um yes and uh, you know what i'll well i mean one you should do it soon for sure because yeah. once once they announce tickets on the 21st i bet those rooms are gonna go real quick yeah for sure um oh i was gonna say i mean it's so i've noticed every time they've uh oh, i'm now party leader well they'll probably invite us at some point I've noticed every time that they've changed venue, it's always an upgraded venue. You know what I mean? The first QuakeCon was at a Best Western, just to put this in perspective. And now it's at the Gaylord History Resort Quake. and, and uh, Convention Center. It's like one of the biggest places to be as far as conventions. Yeah, yeah no, they're, as the event has just grown and grown and grown, um, you know, it, it just requires <clears throat> a bigger a bigger venue. And I'm not sure that in the last few years so much it's been an upgrade that it's changed. I, I'm, I didn't follow it, but I was there last year, and uh, it's pretty pretty crazy with that hotel that they hosted in. Wait, is there, um, is there a theme park so, there? Is there like a water theme there? 
I think so. Yeah. Like I've never really been in a hotel that's that big. If you want to know the truth. Oh, really? It's just Shit. insane. Hmm. Yeah. It's like well, a compound, not even like a hotel. To me, I'm really excited, and and I'm excited to to meet everyone. I think we may even try and have a Quake Champions tournament Discord meetup. I think that'd be really awesome. Yeah, we need to start organizing for that for people who want to go. You know, so we can all sit in the same section and. Because that's this QuakeCon, um, you know, I'm not sure how many people on your stream have followed it, but it's basically just just the LAN. Like, there's yes. no... Yes, you know, In there's... order, there'll be no general admission, there'll be no exhibit hall, and ev in order to get admit ad admittance, right, you have to have a BYOC ticket, build, uh, bring your own computer uh, ticket. So they are expecting people to more or less bring their PCs. Yeah. I mean, everyone, you know, that's no different from any previous year about bringing your PC. But, um, yeah, it was a pretty, it was a spectacle with all the, again, that was my first year last year. So seeing all the non-LAN stuff, like I've been to a LAN, obviously not that scale, but, you know, it's computers stacked up on, distributed on, on folding tables and chairs. So it's, it's a LAN, whether it's 20 people or a hundred, it's, <laughs> it's obviously the environment, the, the environment is the energy electricity is, is something you can't replicate, but. So that was that was amazing, but the um, the part um, that's not going to be there your, this year. No, that, totally, you know, I'm not going to live no Vegas, general go admission, to like no expo hall. It was just this pretty year. cool to it's see like the BYOC, and, Quake and Pro League. There's all sorts stuff of stuff there. that'll be there in person. But, but I was the mostly expectation a, is that a lot of people have a BYOC go to Quake ticket, and they don't yes. even do the LAN. But I was just there gaming. It was it was pretty sweet. I watched the QPL. There wasn't a ton. I was surprised that like not a lot of people were interested in actually spectating the players as they played their uh their tournament matches but i definitely was i was like i was right there just a few feet away pretty cool i think this may be a little different so of course there's the byoc tickets but then like you can buy tickets to go see the quake pro league and since there's not general admi admission I, I expect those will sell a little bit better yeah tell her there's no expo hall this year check the news it's just the land I mean, there's going to be land tournaments and like land event stuff. Like, it's still going to be fun, QuakeCon. Um, okay, I should be clear. Just because there's not an expo hall or general admission, it doesn't mean it's only the land. There's still probably going to be yeah, announcements yeah. and Tons other of, stuff. Yep. Yeah, yeah. There already are announcements. Yeah, there's yeah. just yeah. It's just like the vendor stuff is you know yes all the other companies and everything that's what's what's interesting you know is um to me anyway is over the years just the sentiment about QuakeCon and it's like oh it's not about Quake and like. The year of doom was it the the year before they called the last it doom week, con or something like that yeah yeah. Yeah. It, yeah i mean you know people love quake right and i i get where their heart is at but it's just funny that like it's like oh it's not even quake anymore it's called quake con but like it doesn't even you know and and this year it actually is it's like back to its roots it's just about the land just about gaming i think it's good i don't you know i was never somebody who disliked the other parts of it but um I wonder if those those people are happy now. Yeah, I, I know like, some people have called it, you know, uh, a Bethcon uh, in kind of like a bad way. But, yeah. you know, I, I don't I think there's necessarily so. anything wrong yeah. with them showing other stuff. There's not, it software yeah. doesn't have something to it's, show every year. No, I mean, it's it's silly for those, it's just a silly argument to, to begin with, if you want to know the, the truth of it, in my opinion. It doesn't take away, having other things there does not take away from the core of what started it. There's always been tournaments. There's always been special events for every single Quake. To me, that's like one of the coolest parts that it's not super obvious if you don't go, but like there's just a ton of people playing like Quake 1. There's a ton of people playing Quake 2. Um, there's tournaments for all these games that they do that id, id Software hosts. It's super neat. So if anyone new is thinking about going to QuakeCon this year, um, definitely install these games. Um, if you want to compete in any tournaments, you know, get them get them on there well i have all the quakes installed uh what else do people play like uh do people play counter-strike and dota everything, and, uh, everything? Oh, i yeah. mean i, I imagine it's just everything. people just coming from all over and playing right yep yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm truly really... excited i think it's going to be a, a truly awesome experience yeah a lot of people yeah, I mean, it, there's just so much cool stuff to talk about uh, mm -hmm. about QuakeCon, and we have mm -hmm. time, so why the fuck not? <laughs> my, one of my favorite things, uh, maybe I'll keep saying this, is uh, 
you know, again, this was my first year last year, so everything is like shiny and new when I think about it. But like all the neat ways that people like to display their their case, you know, like their their PC setup. There's a there's a whole. Um, this has been a thing I think since the beginning of QuakeCon, but there's a whole uh, competition, I guess, for case mods and just I think there's multiple competitions for that. But I don't think I have the best computer, nuts. but I think I could introduce it in like a sleeper a sleeper case uh, or sleeper build. I think I could do that. Yeah. So Mars is saying that. we should have a stack QuakeCon championship, and I'll say. I think that would be really awesome, uh, but we'd have to we would have to be planning that right now, and we would have to contact the QuakeCon people to do that, you know, soon as well. That's all I'm going to say well, about that. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm not sure that it's officially sanctioned. You know, I don't know even the feasibility of that. But what I will say is that last year there was a sacrifice QuakeCon tournament, and it just happened sporadically. Like I'm not sure that it was planned. Who were the guys that were doing it back then? We were doing all the events and stuff back then. It was, it was those guys. It's unkind and um, his buddies. I forget the name of their their channel, but I don't know. Who there was those sacrifice. Are. Yeah, let's see. It was like till three a.m. I was there. We played. It was pretty fun. Well, but that yeah, would be so awesome. Like, but I mean, what if we did that but announced it? You know what I mean? Yep, that's that's more ideal. If before if before even people show up because it's it can be you know it can be a draw for somebody who's like oh, i don't know i'm not sure if i just want to sit there and randomly play games i don't you know that maybe they're waiting for an announcement like this i know effortless is uh on twitch he's saying he's trying to do some team like some team tournament he's trying to get that going for the, i, I the saw that that would be level. yeah that would be nice yeah so there's definitely things being planned mm-hmm so Mars says, well, just between us. No, Mar I think I see what Mars is saying. What I'm saying is that if yeah. that is what you want, we need to schedule that beforehand and have announcements. So, yeah, I think so it that... should be like this, yeah. like, the, like a draft tourney, right? And yeah, the question of whether pros are allowed or not is, it can be dealt with. It's not, to me, it's not a big deal. Um, Honestly, I think if if we if we were to say that we'd be doing a championship at, at QuakeCon, I feel like they'd probably say no. Wouldn't they be focused on the pro league? Well, yeah, yeah. That's I was just gonna say that they're they're super busy with the with the pro league, and they're not gonna stay up till three a.m. when they have tournament games the next day. Like it's the most important tournament of the year, so they don't fuck around. So, they really yeah. don't know. So yeah, most likely they're not even. It's not even a conversation about actual QPL players. So it's better to just say everyone's welcome. That's more or less what we did with this draft. They just happened to to not not add up. I think. Oh, I'm getting an invite now. Here we go. All right, run out of things to talk about. I know, right? I'm I'm like legitimately excited about QuakeCon. I need to solidify my 